啦啦。Peeps, welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and this is Le Corp Jail. Isn't it marvelous? Um, well, I think so. Uh, we lots has happened um, since the last episode, and uh, I want to get you all up to date with what's going on. They're all in the shower at the moment. You can see all the water going in the, in the showers. Right. Um, well, we've done another big section of sand, which is just. Fab. Um, and we've been doing loads of work here in um, Supermax. Uh, as you can see, we've built a whole nother wing. Um, this is ready for rooms to go in. It has all of its utilities and stuff in place. I just haven't yet built the rooms. Um, and we did build, ta-da, Solitary for Supermax, which will now save the guards from having to um, cart them all the way across the prison so that's wonderful and they've also got their own parole I'm assuming they have parole supermax I don't actually know <laughs> I don't actually know um, and we've moved their power unit from over here where it was before over to here um, why it will become obvious soon what we're interested in doing today is um, building their laundry and their like their communal room where they can hang out and have a bit of fun and play games and stuff because they're getting very um rambunctious shall we say <laughs> they're getting a little crazy in here um mostly annoyed about uh clothes work and drugs but there's not much i can do about that um yes so i mean there is that she seems to be beating on him is the janitor going to die who can who can say um it might be worth just uh sending in <laughs> sending in some guards so yes they're getting uh, very overexcited here um, mainly because of clothes dirty clothes so laundry and somewhere for them to hang out I think has become a massive priority I've also um, moved you know I had a door down here I've made it much closer to where staff come um, so we've we've built this in uh, instead just to make it a a slightly quicker access for the time being so let's waste no time um let's see so we want to um i mean they really really want some clean clothes and to be honest it's fair enough right it's fair enough and we were up for giving them a little bit of fun uh and entertainment not that they deserve it because they're such scallywags but there we are um we probably should do it now these rooms because there's nothing particularly special in there we're just going to put on standard doors nothing crazy what are they doing it's crazy around here and we also um have staffing issues um getting staff back here is actually quite difficult um um and that's and that's something really um, that we we need to cover because of course in uh, the most recent update of prison architect staff needs were added now while I haven't activated them I have taken this into consideration and for a start I've been around in uh, oh dear does that looks that looks damaged does that look damaged to you that looks damaged to me should we should we is that that it was damaged okay and there's blood here this is no good um so i have been round um the entire wall do you remember all these little sort of turret areas were sort of staff rooms and i've removed all of them as staff rooms because at no point are we going to be able to add all the staff facilities that are going to be required um in the future so we've removed these as staff rooms however because people we do have guards spending time in here we've i've made sure that every single one of these rooms has a radio um because when the update goes through staff always gain a benefit from radios um being in the room they get like a, a buff from it now i've also noticed in the update um that plonking down some chairs now in front of these sorts of things makes a difference it doesn't at the moment 
It makes no difference at the moment, but we've got them in place ready because eventually they'll sit in those and they'll get a comfort buff when we uh, activate the, the update. So I've been around the entire the entire wall area and I've made sure that all of them are updated to include a radio, chairs to sit down in, uh, on, and that none of them are staff rooms. So at the moment, technically the only staff room, uh, we have this staff room here. This is the staff room. Um, I believe is there... No, there's no staff room here. So there's this staff room. And are there any others? I um, might not be, you know. That might be it. Well, I su these are staff rooms. We've got this kennel and staff room here, um, which I've kept. And uh, the same down here. Now, you may notice this is a little bit different. Um, there was a massive explosion. This exploded and caused um, a huge fire. I recorded the footage. Here it is. Oh, my God. Save them. Oh, Catherine. She's trapped. Get her. Look at these two. They're stuck, too. Open the door. We're going to open the door. Um, and get them out of here. Free them. Right away, Kira, Sylvia, run for your lives. Where are the fun? It's taking like bloody ages. Oh, there they are. Get here! People are trapped! Poor, poor cat. Someone save her. Someone save her. Cat! No! No! Oh my god! Cat! Oh, finally! Jeez! No, point, point the house. Over here, over here, douse her. Ah, oh, there we are. I got you, cat. I got you. Oh, Catherine, you're saved. You're saved. Ah, oh, is that nice? Is that good? All right, fire out. Should we see what we got? <laughs> Let the smoke clear. That's um, it's pretty awful. There's a lot of work to be done here, boys. <laughs> this is gonna take ages. It's not too bad. It could be worse, right? It could be worse. Craziness, huh? Absolute craziness. Uh, we just saved those prisoners' lives just in time and all the rest of it. And um, this was, once we did put this back up, we could see that it was right, right up here it was. Um, really dangerous. And I felt that what we needed to do was actually split the power in so this was um what was this this was a uh, uh, this is maximum security and so what we've done is we've taken these three uh, units of cells um, and put it on its own power supply just to alleviate some of the pressure from here what there's a very naughty lady over here very naughty lady indeed um just to alleviate uh some of the overload from here and, and balance it out a, li a little bit um much safer i think uh so that we can avoid all of that um are you at, the, at it as well can we Jeez, what we need to do something i must must do is put drains um under all the toilets <laughs> um so that we can stop sort of this uh oh my goodness uh so we can stop all this sort of flooding um should we look at her oh there we go okay got her you're all right are you all right mr workman i know Oh, go to the hospital. We'll get you all fixed up. Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so to stop this flooding, we need to start putting drains under all these toilets. We have been doing it in Supermax, and it's been very, very effective. So I want to um, um, roll that out um, in all the cells. Um, that is something that uh, is outstanding and needs doing. Uh, indeed it is. Indeed it is. Um, so... Uh, another thing that I worked on, which I said I would, is um, the deployment. We've been working on the deployment. Um, let's see here. Uh, so 
we haven't done this. It's probably one of the reasons why we're having uh, so many problems. Is I haven't actually updated this one yet. But um, all I do is I like to make sure that during the night and um, uh, during the night when they're all sleeping and 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 when during sort of free time and lock up, I like to have officers. Um, I suppose on average four to a unit. Um, uh, oops, a daisy. Um, patrolling these cells. Um, so, and I like them to go into the rooms. As you can see, that's going into every single cell. Um, definitely. And what I also like to do is just separate these into two separate patrols. Uh, just like that. Around here, we put dog patrols so that uh, we can try and catch any tunneling that's going on as well um, at night and you can see we have arranged at night time for these to have some some dogs kicking about although we need them look we need them in here that's no good at all let's get them in here as well so it's a little bit of an oversight um there oops 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 daisy okay and and again we need them here Apparently. Uh, we haven't been putting guards on. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we want. Yes, they're not. They're not quite. They're not quite matching up, are they? Um, so you can see, I like to have uh, two guards um, patrolling. Uh, although we've got one. That's just as soon as I say that, look, it's changed. I think it's because staff is a little. Um, a little light in this prison at the moment unfortunately um we do need to look at that um up the staff there is no doubt um now filling these is also uh, a little bit tricky because um supermax don't just arrive um so so we've got some here um we we take prisoners on every day um so yeah, the mo the highest level of um, of um, inmate that you'll get shipped in on buses is going to be um, maximum security. You don't get supermax. You actually have to manually up them to supermax. So filling the supermax section is a little bit tricky. Um, now, as you know, at the moment. And probably um, always a similar thing will be going on. When we have ex-law enforcement and, and snitches and stuff like that, they um, go into protective custody. And for now, they go on permanent lockdown. That will change in the future. But for now, that is the way that it is. I've also decided that if I see any that are deadly, we are going to instantly up them to supermax. Um, and also, you can see here, we've got underneath there a volatile... This prisoner is liable to kick off without warning and for no reason. So if I see that they're volatile, again, they go straight into uh, Supermax, although she's an ex-law enforcement uh, and volatile, so she would do better um, to, of course, go into protective custody. She wouldn't last two seconds in Supermax. Um, so those two I've absolutely uh, decided should always be instantly... Um, up to supermax deadly and volatile one i have decided absolutely should never uh, be upped to supermax uh, are the instigators now instigators um if we find one and read their thingy my bob um let's see instigators uh, there's a whole bunch in this jail where are they um um, do you see any instigator look there's 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 one of the buggers right so it says here this prisoner so seeds of discontent in all those nearby when he causes trouble we'll say she <laughs> nearby prisoners will feel compelled to do the same now I figured if we separate our volatile prisoners and our most deadly prisoners oh and our cop killers I also um, sling into um, uh, Supermax. 
Um, I don't really want to stick the instigators with them. Um, because they're really good at starting sort of, you know, massive jail-wide brawls. So I feel as though they should remain um, in maximum security away from our most deadly prisoners um, in, in, in the supermax. It makes sense, right? You know, so if they're going to instigate anybody, okay, they're still instigating some pretty dangerous people, but at least they're not cop, cop killers or can kill with a punch or are just really easy to get all riled up, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, and of course our supermax don't have access to like power tools and stuff like that so there's there's that as well <laughs> uh, which helps so i have decided that instigators should absolutely stay separated and in in a in a lower rank uh, and left where they are however do you think there are any other tags that you feel um you could make a strong case to um have them upped to supermax any here at all i want you to comment uh down below and let me know uh which ones you think should be absolutely in supermax if i haven't plonked them there already and um and your reasons as to why you know um because uh, we need reasons uh we can't just do things because <laughs> because of no reasons that's that's crazy that's crazy behavior um but i mean we've got so many here skills fighters tough fearless strong stoical um and then like there's the extremes extremely tough you know um and uh extremely strong extremely quick there's all those quick look they're strong stoical and quick like do you think maybe if they've got um a good collection of these tags maybe they might be worth um upping you know let me know let me know and uh, and then we can go through and just uh, try and get more of them out of maximum security into the supermax as as we expand it so that you know we keep moving in lots of prisoners into maximum security which is where the real money's made right <laughs> it absolutely is um oh did we find out about that we've started to move them out it's a, it's a bit deadly deadly uh okay no i don't because there was a couple of question marks here wasn't there but I, I think they're all okay so that's fine and has she gone she has gone lovely lovely so we can come out of this uh, dark depressing screen now <laughs> look that's much better so look at these here we are um our our what is this our laundry department is uh looking pretty fly and so is our common room area this is coming along nicely um lovely lovelies um so we want to uh, basically copy can you see what we've got over here um so we're going to it, it does i mean there is there is no doubt that the laundry room is absolutely the priority at the moment because it is making them so narky um where is laundry there it is um and this will also be like a little bit of a uh, bit of a job for them you know They're, this will uh we'll let them work in here we will we'll let them work in here um so there we are there's there's that bit done so we want uh, a bunch of washing machines what's there ah uh, a couple of toilets. Oh, that's not a toilet at all, is it? That's not a toilet at all. Plonk those there. Um, and, oh dear, what happened? Where's the ironing boards? There they are. And then how many ironing boards? We have a whole bunch of ironing boards. Uh, is it there? Let me try and make it match. Is it just one gap between? It is, isn't it? Just one gap. Like that. Like that? Yeah. Like that, like that, like that. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. Um, we'll get the white tiles down, I think, for now. There, and um, that might be good. And we should probably also get there's a radiator look that goes in there, and um, a security camera, which we need to make sure goes in the right way yeah, lovely. and uh, they're going to need a load of these aren't they 
Um, I mean, they never stay in here, so we'll just plonk a load in so that they buy a bunch more. And uh, they won't stay there for very long. Uh, they'll soon be out of the way. There we go. Um, and lights, of course. Uh, there's there's no goddamn lights in here. What, what, uh, so we've got central toilet. Is that look? Sort of. I don't know. Don't don't think I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to remember it. Ah, uh, it's auto saving. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Uh, I can't. I can't see. I can't see. There's, uh, there's one there, I believe. Um, and I believe one here. Uh, one there. One there. There and there. And then scatter two. There and there. I think that's it. I think that's it. So that'll be their laundry. And if we go into deployment, look, and we can just... Uh, oh, look. The crazy wall business. That probably will change again, won't it? Oh, this should be staff only. Um, and we're still in the process of trying to separate this area. You can see I've put in some fences in preparation for these buildings going in, uh, which is nice. Um, so we've got our common room as well uh, to put in. Um, this is pretty simple, I think. We've got... Um, some pool tables and 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 or if we mark the room up it should just find our the things that we want oh my god where is it <laughs> help me peeps um i can't read where is it where where is it ah! common room bloody hell right if we put that in there across here across there down here, up there. Lovely. Now, if we go to objects, it should just okay or not. It's supposed to to preference common room things. Fine. We'll put. We'll type arcade. There we go. That's an altar. <laughs> there we go. Some arcade machines. Arcade machines. Cross there like that. Um, we need some toilets. Um. Toilets there and there. Um, they require a uh, TV. Uh, TV, there it is. Um, and a whole bunch of chairs. Uh, or benches. No, look, look, because they're four. We're going to go benches. Um, I've got a feeling it goes that way. I'm not 100% sure, though. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then the radio of which we still have 89 of those buggers just stacks and stacks of them and what we could probably also do is put some telephones just along that wall there that might be nice um what if there's anything else we could give them probably not that that that's probably it isn't it it's not bad though it's pretty good it's pretty good um we haven't put um any power uh into any of this yet um let's the wash machines are relatively easy um, we don't want that one there. Um, so we'll need to hook up some water, some water to there as well. Um, and then look, some power through here. Uh, and they need lights. This needs lights. What should we do? We should do like there. And uh, we could do uh, light there. Should we do a bunch of lights across here? Like that. And then uh, what do we think? Like that? That'll probably do it. We'll see how that gets lit up. That'll be all right, won't it? Right, so what else have we been up to? Um, oh, there was a disaster at another prison. And uh, we had 33 inmates uh, shipped in uh, against our will. But we could take it. Um, it was... Um, there was a whole bunch of them in here. And I dealt with it by... Um, making all the deadlies and and volatile um ladies uh to supermax and it just made enough room um so that was really easily dealt with um so didn't need to worry about that too much so yes the why did we move this power station um in a new uh, continued not new continued effort uh oops wrong button um 
for the staff stuff that's um, coming up we need to make these staff areas and I've decided that what a staff area should contain is a good place for because it doesn't affect all the staff okay so the the staff that have the needs are basically all your guards guards armed guards snipers and your dog handlers but things um, like all the gardeners and the um, doctors and your handymen and such aren't affected at the moment I mean who knows in the future right but at the moment they're not affected which is splendid um, I mean just the guards being affected is difficult enough so you need a kennel a staff room uh, toilets now uh, as well for the staff and their very own staff canteen um, so this is what we've built here um, we've built like this sort of massive area and we've rejigged the pavement um, for these guys as well and they're going to access it through this turret on the wall because you remember me saying that at the moment technically even though I've done a shortcut here I don't want to keep that shortcut and the only way into all of this at the moment is this gate which is a bit meh. so we need to definitely work on that and I'm probably going to make a through here and this will allow them to get to this staff area and we're probably going to once all this is built change this area to be more secure and then we'll make it so that staff can come out of here into the supermax area and we will rinse and repeat over here and this will be our protective custody area and we're, we'll just repeat that over here um, so they can come down here and out so that'll be you know multiple ways to, to get out and two huge staff areas we're prioritizing this one though because we need to get more staff to the back of the prison it is it is an issue at the moment so we're not going to waste any time with this one either we want our brick foundation and we're going to get uh, get this in we've um we are uh, this is going to be outside this is the the kennel area but i am going to build a brick wall around here um we're gonna stick a fence in there and um for now we're going to put in a good old heavy duty solitary door here um and uh we're going to need access to this so the access to this um is going to be here and here there we go um, because these are going to be um, all toilets across here and, and, and stuff like that so we'll let the workmen get on with that um, how are they doing actually with this this is coming along pretty well I would say oh look we need to do water don't we um, do, it's possible actually that we're going to have to give it um, its own boiler we didn't do that with this though did we don't these probably have hot water from where exactly um, oh, the washing machines don't need it. Is that is that what we're seeing here? Oh, washing machines don't need hot water. Well, that's bloody marvellous. Right, okay, so, but they do need water, which, I mean, obviously. So let's have a look. Utilities. And, um, here, look. We can run it from here. We're going to also then plumb in the toilets along with it. Uh, we're going to plumb in these toilets off of here splendid and um but yeah look so we've got our radiator here and no way to actually give it hot water at the moment unless we run it off of one of these but i don't know do you think this would reach do you think this would reach should we should we do that should we give it we'll give it a go <gasps> we'll give it a go and we'll see if that works it may not it may not but we'll see um, oh, but it is, it is all coming along, isn't it? Let's have a look at the deployment. Right, okay. So we've got some no access areas blinking away here. Um, so this is... This is being secured up. Right, we need to... Oh, do you see him? He just walked through walls. That's, <laughs> that is something. To demolish this. And then um, staff will have access to this whole back area here, which is something that, that we want. We do We do want that to be... Uh, a thing um, we want this to be a kennel now kennels need things to be kennels okay. look at this so um, dog crates 
We need masses and masses of dog crates. Let's, um, I don't know which way. I can never tell when I'm placing the dog crates which bloody way they go. Dog. Dog crate. So we'll just put one down. We'll wait for it to be placed and we'll see if it's the right way or not. And then if not, then I know which way to spam them all in. Oh, yes. See, look at this. This dog crate is the wrong way round, if you can see. I mean, it's very dark at the moment, and we've got no lighting in this area. But that dog crate is back to front. So we're going to have to... Plonk all, all these dog crates down. So many dog crates. So many dog crates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of dog crates never have too many dog <laughs> I've got so many dog handlers you know we just we need to be we need to be prepared for all of this um, and I do think that we should dismantle that one and uh, get that one down as well uh, oh look but they've actually built god they they work really fast don't they let's um no oh dear this is no good so can we can we arrange for them to just replace that wall like that. Will that will they do that? I hope so. I do hope so. Um, put these walls in. But what we are going to do different is we are going to put the doors on, the toilets in the staff areas. We are going to do that. Um, and we are going to make this staff room a staff room sooner rather than later so that they do start heading to the back here and uh, start hanging out. Where is the staff room? There it is, right. There. Um, and then eventually this will become a staff canteen. But I, uh, because I haven't um, activated staff needs just yet, um, it's not a room I can I can successfully place so uh, we are just going to kit this out ready we are going to do that and again I don't know if the benches are in the right way we won't worry about it for now we'll just we'll just get this stuff in um, this is going to be a serving table and while um, the food is always delivered, uh, staff food's always delivered, it's much more expensive as well I think than, uh, than prisoner uh, food, so that's an expense that you have to take into consideration when you're doing this sort of thing. But um, it does still, um, it is still a drain uh, of resources on your um, chefs. For the simple reason that um, they, for the staff eating areas, they still use all the trays. Uh, these trays. Um, so the staff come along. Uh, so while the workmen, I think, fill up with deliveries, the staff will come along, pick up a tray and get their food and leave them out on the tables just like this. And so your chefs will have to come along and wash up these trays and put them back. Um, and so that is that again is another consideration we will have to up the amount of chefs in order to uh, contend with the extra workload not to mention as I say the food cost um, and I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to be so we're going to have to make sure that our daily cash flow um, is definitely um, healthy before we activate uh, that that sort of thing um, now some more objects that we want in the staff area uh, from what I understand, they pretty much will uh, start to benefit from all these types of things. I'm not sure if they'll benefit from the arcade machines. So I thought we'd plonk them down and we'd soon find out, eh? Um, but they definitely will have uh, bladder needs, um, so toilets, and they have comfort and entertainment needs now. I don't think they'll need telephones, um, but they will. They actually now do uh, sit down when we when we activate this feature. They will. They do actually then start sitting down on chairs and stuff. What we're going to do here is we're going to put in some some wide sofas here. This this is going to look a little bit weird, but they'll love it. They will love it. <laughs> they will indeed. Um, what else? Uh, they like drinks machines. So I thought we might 
plonk a bunch of drinks machines here. Like that. What else um, is there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, well, the radio, actually. So uh, we're definitely going to want uh, a radio. I'll put a radio there. Um, and uh, we'll put a radio here with some bins. Because uh, on the opposite side of the sink, there, yeah, that'll do. That'll be nice. Um, so we're getting all getting all that into place. Oh, this will be great. This I think this will work really well. But um, I mean, I have no real way of knowing. <laughs> I have no real way of knowing. No. But I do sure hope it does. Uh, oh, they dismantled this one, so we can replace this. Ta-da! There we go. Splendid. Splendid. Uh oh, we've had a death today. What's this? You. You killed a workman. No! You bitch! She murdered stuff. She murdered stuff. This is. They really are kicking off. Um, look, it's Fairbairn. <laughs> Fairbairn never changes. They're all kicking off. Um, they do this every morning, and I think it is largely because they are still really annoyed about the clothes situation. But look, our laundry room is complete, and we have um, um, put uh, look, look in, in logistics. Look, twenty jobs for them in there. Look, we've made uh, their common room for them. They seem to be using that right away oh yes because look they've got some free time so look look watching television on the phones playing a bit of pool lovely and look at our staff area coming together beautifully um look they've got their trays ready and everything i think if we duplicate this all around the prison um then uh hopefully hopefully uh, things will go well uh, when we uh, turn on <laughs> staff needs. But we shall see, eh? We shall see. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.